Hello, my name is Blanca with Furniture with Imagination. I have a question for you. Have you ever gone to a thrift store to buy a piece of furniture and then convert it and use it at home or flip it? Today, this video is all about that. I had gone to a local thrift store. I had a really cute thrift store nearby my house and I picked this vintage piece. It's unique. It has lots of beautiful detail. It is really gorgeous and it's the perfect piece for real paint. So um, I already had sanded it down and stripped the paint and it's ready for our application. So I decided to use today uh, Toscana Milk Paint on Strasbourg White. Now I have done other videos on different applications of milk paint. Today I'm going to show you how to use milk paint in a completely different way. You can use paint in so many different ways that only your imagination is the limit. So I'm going to teach you another way to use milk paint today. Um, for the inside, I'm going to be used once the paint and the color I chose is this coral. It's a beautiful warm color and it's going to contrast the inside with the white outside. We're going to decorate the inside drawers with this cute little mesh stencil. Um, so we're going to have lots of fun. I want to make sure that you tag your friends because we're giving away today a bag of milk paint and absolutely uh, you want to try that. Um, tell us from where you are watching from. I always enjoy seeing from where our audience is. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you next the video of my tour to the uh, thrift store. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Okay, thank you for watching and here is the fun. I'm taking a walk today because I am heading to this thrift store near my house. I usually go um, and visit thrift stores from time to time because things change all the time and you never know what you're going to find. So I realized that um, this thrift store actually has a sale today and is half off. So I waste no time. I definitely want to go in and check out what they have available and he's at the basement of this beautiful church okay i just want to give you a very quick tour of what it looks like this thrift store that i found by pure chance just by walking near my house this um, store is actually located in the basement of a church and i love coming here because they have little great uh, treasures really nice and fine pieces that i always find all the time they change them often and i like it because all the proceeds go to actually benefit people living with hiv so anyways everything is really nice like today for example they have half off so that table that i just saw is 25 dollars that would be 12.50 um they have this ice box this pure oak and I'm sure it's not very expensive and even have sometimes brand new things like these little candles like for a dollar fifty um, so you just have an idea go to our thrift stores they're really cute to find pieces okay so I hope that you like the adventure at the thrift store uh, you might be surprised um, to learn how many thrift stores there are around that sometimes we don't even know um, so I discovered this by chance and I love going to these places because I get to find these little treasures okay so now down for our piece I actually am going to be painting the inside of the piece uh, on this beautiful one step coral color it's beautiful warm color I really love it and I um, going to paint the inside first so um because the outside is going to be white i don't um you know kind of like risk it to stain my white so let's do the inside first it goes very very fast and i love the application of the one step paint it has great coverage so this is the first coat and I already see the coverage is really nice. We're going to be doing two coats and that uh, we're going to be ready to go and do all the outside. Okay, good. So that's our coral color on the inside. 
I did two coats and it's already dry and we're going to be ready now for the outside. We are ready for the application of our milk paint. I already prepared the milk paint. Uh, this is Strasbourg white uh, and I had put three uh, parts of milk paint and three parts of water. It's same, it's equal parts and it's ready to apply. I'm going to be using two different sizes of bristle brushes. Um, and what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be applying the milk paint straight into the raw wood. And uh, the technique we're going to be using is that we're going to actually saturate our brush completely into the milk paint. And then we're going to be applying some heavier parts than others uh, to give the impression that um, the paint is old and not exactly the same, almost like a washing some parts and some parts heavier, okay? So we're gonna get started. The application of this milk paint is very simple. We just stir our paint and saturate the brush. As you can see, this is a wider bristle brush and just do long strokes. Some areas heavier than others apply more paint and utilize all the paint in the brush until you're running out of paint. Then saturate the brush again and then do again heavier areas than others. It's a very simple technique and uh, then once I complete this, I'm going to just wipe off the excess of the paint and then I'm going to do a second coat once this is dry with again lighter and heavier. Um, and that's all there is to this technique. All right, so our milk paint is dry now. So what we're gonna be doing is that we're just gonna smooth it out and I'm gonna be actually using sandpaper on 220. And how it goes is that I'm just gonna smooth it out like this. And it might chip off in some areas. Um, we're not trying to do this to distress it, but to make it smooth. But at the same time, it might distress a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now time to decorate our shelves of the inside with this beautiful mesh stencil. You're going to find the links on this video for all the products I'm using today. And you can order this beautiful mesh stencil um, from the links on the video. Usually you use this stencil with some chalk art that you can order as well, but I decided to use my one step paint on Bahas Buff for this particular project. This color matches really well the milk paint that I put outside. So I decided to use this and I am using a little sponge with it and I'm using it so I kind of like put the paint in, but I don't saturate too much so there is no excess paint and I just rub the paint against the mesh stencil. The beauty of this stencil is that it gives you some wonderful detail. So once you finish the application, you can lift it, clean it, and then you can continue using it um, and it's self-adhesive. So it's wonderful for the application. So we're gonna be using this for all the shelves as well as the inside of the doors. There you go, it's beautiful. 
The last step is to protect our milk paint now and we're gonna be doing it with light wax. I usually use a bristle brush and um, I ensure that I take the excess off of the brush before I start it applying so the wax is not heavy and is not applied in excess. It's done very, very lightly, very lightly, and uh, make sure just that you have full coverage on every little corner um, and place so your piece is fully covered but it goes really easily and it's very simple to do nothing complicated and we're almost done here and we will do dark wax the last part is our dark wax this wax is going to get applied just in very specific places like details so you can get a little bit of depth um, an apparency of dimension and that place is where you want your piece to look like has been old or worn out or for example the handles where you know the piece is touched more and that's it all right so this is our final piece all done on stress or white milk paint just one type of milk paint and uh, the technique we used was lighter on some parts, uh, more heavier on some parts, and I mean, the milk paint chipped off a little bit, and I love how it came out. This white is beautiful. For the inside, we decorated the inside with this beautiful matched pencil, and the color we used here was coral. I love the combination between these two colors. Uh, we also did the stencil here and here, and I just love it. And the smell is beautiful. Uh, this paint smells really good. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is all about how you actually can go and buy these beautiful little treasures in thrift stores. Use some products, beautiful products to convert your pieces and either showcase it at home or flip it. I'm gonna flip it. I pay about $25 for this piece and it's really pretty, okay? So don't forget to tag your friends and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in another video next week.